Half a billion people in the world are reliant on fisheries for their livelihoods and well-being. And these fisher folk are directly in the firing line of changes as a result of climate change. Um, marine ecosystems and freshwater ecosystems are clearly going to be severely impacted by climate change and change as a result of processes such as the acidification of the oceans, uh, bleaching of coral reefs and major changes in the flows of freshwater around the world's continents. And obviously this will impact on the fish that those people rely on. But in our work uh, for FAO looking at the impact of climate change on fisher folk, we realise that um, it's not just about what happens to the fish. Actually the whole social and economic context in which fisher folk um, catch fish but also trade fish, the areas in which they live um, and the way in which they're able to benefit from fisheries will be shaken up by the impacts of climate change through, for example, impacts of migration, impacts on transportation and markets. Our research also identifies that it's the poorest of those fisher folk who are most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. And that's because they've got limited adaptive capacity to be able to deal with those impacts and make the necessary adaptations. For example, one study uh, in Kenya looked at fisher folk and how they would respond if their fishery started to decline. And that showed that it was the poorest fisher folk who were um, least likely to be able to adapt and get out and find other livelihoods. Mm. So this um, indicates how it's really important that um, the poorest uh, nations of the world are, able to, are helped to adapt to the impacts of climate change. And it also highlights how all aspects of the economy and all sectors uh, in one way or another are going to be impacted by climate change.